So this is interesting. Um, Sequester Zoe is kind of revealing himself to be an unpleasant thug that he is. So it started a couple of months ago when Thunderfoot, and by the way, I don't like Thunderfoot, but when he made a video debunking the feasibility of solar roadways. Anyway, Sequester Zone tried to humiliate Thunderfoot by questioning the science behind it. Um, that video has since been pulled because Thunderfoot basically came out on that video and gave a comment and a science lesson pointing out the errors that Sequester Zone made. Uh, Sequester Zone then admitted later on that he was so blinded by hatred of, of Thunderfoot that it consumed him. But then, just a week or so ago, he made a Twitter account, not Jacqueline Glenn, uh, at Twitter, that female atheist. Um, again, I'm not really a fan of her work. Um, I find her videos a little bit empty, to be honest, and um, kind of full of atheist self-pity that I really don't like about the uh, atheist movement online. But anyway, Sequestazo made a Twitter parody of, uh, uh, of um, Jacqueline Glenn and Rebecca Watson, who... Sequester Zone regularly defends, uh, told him he wasn't funny, which was funny, <laughs> historical even. But uh, that kind of brought the debate of whether he is a cyberbully. And his videos since then have been, well, he basically says Thunderfoot is worse and that he can't be done for damages. But is it cyberbullying? And I think it is. But before I explain, I want to talk about a video Sequester Zone links. Uh, below in the below video, and that is a quote from so-called misogynist Amazing Atheist and his video where he defends his Tumblr Twitter and the rape jokes that he makes. And there was a comment by yep, Femme Atheist, and I kind of agree with it to a certain degree. Basically, she says that rape jokes can be funny and therapeutic, and that, uh, but that the Amazing Atheist was more mean-spirited and just snapping. Okay, this is true, but. I have a number of things to say on this. One, very often snapping and jokes are interlinked. It's something that comedians, particularly controversial comedians, do to find relatable. And that is a spontaneity and a sort of dark humour. And it's something that has become much more apparent in the 21st century. Uh, second, when the Amazing Gavius makes a tweet or a Tumblr, you are on his forums. You have agreed to his terms. You have voluntarily decided to follow him and his opinions, and as such, you are responsible to your sensitivities, um, and you know his reputation as well. So that isn't cyberbullying, although Femifius, I don't think she actually calls it that. But and again, uh, but again, if you go to say a comedy show that has a reputation such as say Jimmy Carr, then you know what to expect. In fact, you go to these comedians knowing that they're going to pick on you. In this regard, the Amazing Atheist is no different in that regard, and as such, I can't really fault him for doing so. Uh, by the way, I don't think his Tumblr tweets were really that bad. It was basically, it was basically a shock way of saying, "Okay, you had, uh, you were raped. You're not a survivor. You need to get on with your life." Basically, so I don't think it was bad. I don't think. It's, I think when femin feminists say. Oh, you're a raped survivor, and uh, make it this. I mean, it is a big deal, but when they make it this kind of pathological, uh, your life is ruined forever. Kind of, you'd better off be dead. As you'd be better off you if you died, etc. When they make it that, I think that's far, far worse. But anyway, uh, the amazing atheist is no different to say Jimmy Carr. But let's return to Sequester Zone. Sequester Zone made that false Twitter, and this is different in two different ways. First of all, there's a sort of defamation of character of an individual person, even if it is made very clear that it is a parody. The reason this is is because you are implying that the person would say what you are tweeting, and as such, it is a form of character assassination. The second reason is, and whilst Glenn would have to look voluntarily for the Twitter, to see what is going on and therefore you are going on to their kind of forum. She or any other individual has a sort of anxiety of what is going to happen. Um, the Twitter isn't a critique of the person, it exists purely to mock, which is different. The point I'm trying to make is that you are demanding that individual, uh, where Jacqueline Glenn in this case, um, to pay attention to your space. You are inviting them into your um, forum. In fact, it's not even inviting, it's more 
uh, it's more like a hostage situation. I, I don't know what the words to look for, it, but uh, it, but this is different to the amazing atheist, as he does not demand feminists to view his videos. In fact, feminism isn't is well, it's a group. It's not a person. Um, he isn't slandering any individuals on a perpetual basis either, which is what Sequestered Zone is doing by tweeting pretty much every day or so, every so often day. So there are very, they are two very different scenarios, and the latter, Sequestered Zone, is far more malicious than anything, any controversial opinion that the Amazing Atheist makes, which you know he's going to make. So that's just a quick thought of the day.